This was the very first maiden flight, and as you can see, there's quite a bit of jello in the camera. Really wasn't expecting that, and I really wasn't sure what the issue was until I did a little bit of um, you know inspection of the camera. So what I found out was that in the camera there was actually a relatively loose circuit board. Um, basically, the CMOS chip and where the board sat were kind of shaking around. So I took my camera case off and I was able to find the circuit board that was loose. Basically all I did was I simply put some double-sided sticky foam behind the circuit board and then that was able to keep it from shaking around and causing the jello. So as you can see here it looks like I pretty much got the jello out of it, which I'm very happy about. One thing that I really enjoy about this hex is that it's a very fast flyer, as hopefully you can see here in the video. I'm able to turn on a dime pretty much with these 4045 bullnose props. And I am running it on a 4S battery, um, which is basically 1300 milliamp. Very pleased with the performance. And it's also good for aerobatics, as you can see. So flips are no problem. And it's got a really good handling and feel to it. Not long after the maiden flight, I was able to take the Pex out with a few buddies and, yeah, you know, things got a little crazy, as they tend to do when you're flying with other people. But I was able to test out the durability of the frame because I, I had probably half a dozen crashes. And uh, really, all I, all I really lost were a few propellers, so frame held up very well. Still flies like a champ. My overall impression of the Armatin Mini V2 Hex after a few flights is still very positive and you know now that I've got everything kind of tuned and got my camera without jello, what I'm seeing is I'm really liking. I definitely would recommend this if you're looking for something a little different to try. The only complaint that I have after flying about 10 packs on this uh, Hex is that uh, the 4S motors and the battery, they're, they're pretty noisy, and it's really hard to hear the low voltage battery alarm. I actually ran this battery down to about 11 volts, which is not too good. Well, thanks for watching, and I really hope you enjoyed my mini video series. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Happy flying.